should we be never heard of again? Just remember, Bella Vista near a place that's got a very long name. Kasha Ankalukun. Kula Gashtida, something like that. Have a look for it on the map. <laughs> excuse me, could you tell us where? Be could you tell us? Excuse me, do you know where Bella Vista? Bella is? Vista. Yeah. It's there. there. Thank you. Just after Kasunganjanja, that is where we have been kidnapped to and we can't drive our car in or out of we've come down a huge mountain we're now climbing a huge mountain oh there's a sign saying bit of us do we go straight yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes in the vista and we've had to go to four by four to get in here oh but it looks like it might be a uh, good place. Oh, there's the camping site. Yeah. What well, it says, camping site. Fireplace. Uh oh, you're going to have to do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my hat. Crater legs that we've seen from a distance. There are a lot of them up here in the mountains of Uganda. Oh my goodness. I feel like I could dive in right now. Do you believe this little place is tucked away here? You can camp or you can stay. Dear customers, keep a lower voice. That's going to be tricky for us with Rory. Oh, there's a swimming pool. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. This is in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We're stopping here overnight on this crater lake at a place called Bella Vista on the way to the north of Uganda, Murchison Falls. And I mentioned earlier that the Great African Rift Valley was created by two tectonic plates separating and creating these huge deep lakes with these mountains alongside the west and east escarpment of the trench as it were. And so what you see before you is one of the crater lakes, but a lot of volcanic activity, a lot of earthquake activity over the centuries along this whole region. It stretches from Ethiopia down to Lake Malawi and uh, you can see signs that actually the earth's been pulled apart as it were in this area to form this incredible place with all these major lakes from Lake Malawi to Lake George to, to Lake Edward, Lake Albert, Lake Tanganyika, Lake Victoria, all part of this Great Lakes region in the African Rift Valley. The backdrop against which this hotel is built is Ruwenzori Mountains named by Stanley and the highest peak on this Ruwenzori range is 5,109 meters and it's called Mount Stanley. It's 130 kilometers long and about 65 kilometers wide. There's snow on these mountains. Now Ptolemy in the second century, a Greek um, map maker, heard about this mountains of the moon which he called it and it became the stuff of legend, the holy grail to which adventurers sought. Sometimes people thought it might be Mount Kenya and Mount Kilimanjaro, but it, that wasn't it. The Ruwenzori Mountains are the mountains of the moon named several thousand years ago. People could never understand why the Nile was such a full river flowing in the desert in the heat of summer and overflowing its banks. They could never believe that actually on the equator there could be snow-capped mountains, but there are. And though the source of the Nile has been identified at Ginger, north of Lake Victoria, discovered by Speak. If we assessing the source of a river uh, as its highest point, then surely the Ruinsuri Mountains would be the source of the Nile. It's been a great debate for centuries, but I would suggest that maybe the Ruinsuri is the correct source of the Great Nile River. Just while I zoom out, Look at this beautiful patchwork of agriculture. The Ugandan people, we are finding incredibly productive. Industrious. 
Yes, industrious and productive. Um, and the ladies that we spoke to at the little lodge said, you, we as a people feel we need to get up early, start working, and at the end of the day, we must have achieved something. They say on the, in these mountains that the, it rains about 350 days in the year. That's why it's such a verdant, verdant valley here. We're now driving through Kabali National Park, which again is a well-known chimpanzee park. Look at the forest now that we're driving through in Uganda. Just set up camp right next to the Murchison Falls. Be very excited. This is our first sighting of the Nile River. Tonight we are sleeping right here, very close. Very noisy. It will be beautiful, the sound of the waterfall all night. A few weeks ago he showed you us camping next to the mighty Zambezi. Now, we are next to the mighty, mighty Nile River. <laughs> you won't believe this, but in a matter of about a hundred meters, I think I'm lost. I'm going down to the river instead of up to the campsite. Let me try and call for Rory. I found him and look what he's done. He set up the roof. Braveheart's already, he's got a fire going. The chair's set up. We're getting ready to have a beautiful night here. Just getting to where we can view the falls. This is still the top of it. Very noisy already. along the Nile up towards the base of Murchison Falls. It's still very calm, fairly calm here, the water, but it gets very strong up there. And uh, we won't, you have to remain seated because the coxswain has difficulty sometimes keeping the boat on track. It's a beautiful thick forest along the bank on the edge of the Nile River. Really lovely. Very verdant. Very good.
We were hoping to have a Nile on the Nile, but the boat ran out of Nile, so we're having a Tusker on the Nile.